Hello everybody, what's up? This is another episode of CNGC YouTube, and I'm here back with another video. All I have to say is this. Thank the gods for some YouTube drama. There's actually a lot of things to talk about right now. Like the KSI Quetica thing, and also the Jake Paul thing. And that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be reacting to Jake Paul. Now sit back, relax, and let's dab. Let me out there, dab. <laughs> So as most of you know, Jake Paul basically made a new video on his channel regarding his breakup with Erica Castell. So honestly, I don't give a shit about this, but I need the views. So let's get drive on into this. And as you know, this is a 30 minute long video, so there's no way in hell I'm going to be reacting to the whole thing in one video. So this is just going to be the first part. But hey, if this video does good, then I'll do a second part. And to prove that this video does well, please smash the like button and subscribe. Alright, let's get this bread. Boom! Welcome to Jake Paul Uncut. I don't think something has ever been done like this on YouTube. Yes, it fucking has, you blonde piece of shit. These are literally videos to make people feel bad for you, which you've done multiple fucking times. So I need to explain a little bit to you guys why, what, where, when, who, what, how. I am begging for the next 30 minutes of your attention, whether you like me or not. Well, I don't like you, so here's 30 minutes of my attention. I really think that this is important for the YouTube community and culture as a whole. We need to innovate. Yeah, let's innovate by telling fucked up things that's happened in my life. Let's influence the YouTube culture by making many people feel bad for me. So please set the next 30 minutes of your life aside so that you guys are able to watch Jake Paul Uncut. Let me explain what it is. Is it basically the Shane Dawson documentary part 2 where you tell us how everything went wrong? Is this gonna be a new series where you're gonna lie to millions of people for some? In short, it is a reality show of my life, except the thing is, it's actually real. My life is crazy. I'm sure it is. Drama, stress, business, lawsuits, merchandise, this, YouTube, fame. Don't forget about lying, being a big asshole, playing the victim card like you are doing right now, and manipulating a lot of people. Da da da, the list goes on and on and on. But the problem is, is I think everyone in this world that we live in wants to act like their life is so perfect. They want to act like everything's all Gucci. But Jake, don't you do the exact same thing? But Jake Paul Uncut is the exact opposite of that. It's gonna show my mistakes, my failures, the bad side. Well, Jake, we don't need a new series to show all of that. Just watch your regular videos. All of the questions and things that you have are finally going to be answered because this Hollywood, this Los Angeles lifestyle that we live is absolutely insane. And I think there's a lot that you guys as an audience can learn from it. I want Jake Paul Uncut to be that authentic, real piece of content on YouTube. Real piece of content on YouTube. Real piece of content on YouTube. Okay, please shut the fuck up. Because... We all know how much you lie. You don't even sound genuine about the whole thing. You're all sitting down, having a little talk with your 10 year old fans saying, let's get real, when you lie just to get publicity. You did it to Shane Dawson, and now you're gonna make a series doing it again. I, I want it to like, really, really connect with y'all. You're trying to connect with y'all? I thought you were gonna try to explain the Los Angeles life, you know, the high life, the high rich life you're living, and you think you, you're gonna connect to your 10 year old audience. I'm personally tired of a lot of the content on YouTube, it feels so forced. You mean your content? Why are you saying YouTube content as in you're referring to other people's content? It's really yours that is forced, you just do the stupidest of shit to get a lot of views, to get millions of views, and to exploit every situation you can. And I kind of just was like, my life's crazy, let's film it, let's put it out there, but I want you guys to learn from it. I don't want you to just take it for an entertainment purpose. I want you to see everything that I'm going through and relate to it. You hear that, guys? Jake Paul wants us to relate to his content. He wants us to relate to his millions of dollars. Yeah, because everybody starts fake relationships like Jerica to gain publicity. Everyone burns mattresses 
in their backyard. Everyone lives in a team house with a bunch of adult men and women under the same roof. Everyone has their thousands of fans showing up to their house and disturbing their neighbors. An upscale West Hollywood neighborhood and this tight-knit community has become the new setting for many of his pranks and performances. Yeah, please shut the fuck up. Look, just like every other miserable prick who's ever lived in Los Angeles, you're just an asshole who screwed up their lives very badly because you wanted to be different. You wanted to be extra just to get all the views you could and see how that worked out for you. Look, man, stop trying to relate to people just so you don't feel lonely, okay? You're a lot different from most people. Your lifestyle isn't what most people would live like you would do it on a regular basis. And you're trying to convince your childlike audience, your feeble-minded audience, to, you know, pretend that they're, they're actually like you, they're more like you. And maybe take some advice or take parts of it uh, into your own life to become a better person. You hear that, guys? The guy who tried to ruin Face Bank's career is going to try to teach us to be a better person. Jesus Christ. This is basically like going to a church just to hear a prostitute talk about not having sex. So I'm obviously not going to show myself in the shower and things like that. There's stuff that I can't film. There's stuff, there's details that I can't put out there. Yet one time, you had a thumbnail showing you having sex with your girlfriend. To protect reputations, to protect certain things. But I'm going to literally put out as much as I legally possibly can. So to answer some of your guys' questions, I took to Twitter and I'm going to answer them rapid fire. Here we go. How long are the episodes? Roughly 30 minutes. What are you most afraid of about this series? I think people misunderstanding why I'm doing it and my intentions behind it. Uh... I think there's already been some feedback about me, like, exploiting certain things, like, just to get views. Because, as I mentioned, that's what you do all the time. You did it to Shane Dawson, you did it with the Face Banks thing, you always create fake drama just to get a lot of views and just to raise your publicity up. You even said that Team 10 was a business and that you had to do anything that will get you as much money as possible just to promote that business. Uh, specifically the situation and the, the most recent thing that happened with Erica and us breaking up. No, honey, uh, our relationship started on camera. Literally the whole entire thing has been on camera. I'm not exploiting anything to make money, to make views. You just admitted that your whole relationship started on camera. All these like fake Hollywood relationships where you have to like take two people's names and make it into some like some stupid name like Jerica are usually used to gain publicity. And this has been used so many times in the past. Is this the Los Angeles lifestyle you're trying to teach people? The Los Angeles lifestyle you claimed earlier in this video that people should know about. Uh, th there's like swearing, there's cursing in this. I don't even know if this is this type of content is going to be uh, monetizable. Hey, I mean, you're Jake Paul, the kid who showed him having sex with his girlfriend in a thumbnail. This probably will be monetized because you are YouTube's daddy making them all that money. Next question. None of it is acting, right? Uh, correct. This isn't acting. Uh, sometimes maybe when the camera is on, we will communicate more. Oh, so it is acting. Alright, listen up, Jake Paul. This is basic psychology. We all know that's not true. And it's not just because of you, because of anyone in general. People often act differently when they know they're being filmed. So many people have made videos of you saying, this is the real Jake Paul stalking you, walking around, you know, trying to be in Team 10 sucking your dick, right? They go around filming you doing stupid shit every day and saying this is the real Jake Paul. Trust me, we're not actually gonna get to see the real you because you're gonna still try to put on a show and it still needs to be entertaining for people to watch. You're not just gonna live your normal life and act how you normally do. Something that Katie Morton probably wouldn't know about because she's not an actual psychologist or at least she's not good at her job. And I bring this up because for some fucking reason, Shane Dawson and Katie Morton thought you were going to act like your normal self in Shane Dawson's documentary. Uh, but it's all of the thoughts and things that are actually in our head and it's not staged at all, I promise. Next question, did Shane Dawson have any influence on this series? Yes, a lot. Oh, so it's Shane's fault for this monstrosity. He made me realize that I need to open up more and be honest and real. It helped me so much to grow as a person. I'm and by grow, you mean that in less than two years, you peaked, you became the like the most relevant YouTuber on YouTube. N then you went to some boxing match, 
and now you are washed up and just trying to admit your wrongdoings. You know, I mean, most celebrities in Hollywood do this type of crap, but at least for them, it takes them 10 years. You know, you all, you already did this in like the span of two years, so you really are growing very fast. I think you've made Madonna proud. I'm tired of like faking everything, hiding everything, pushing everything down. And um, that's what I did before. And it, it ended up with me being in a weird, bad place in my life. When were you not in a weird place in your life? And uh, I'm just going to put it out there and be more open and, and truthful and show my mistakes and things like that. Someone asked, how often will the episodes come out? I'm going to be putting out roughly one episode a week on Sunday, so be ready for that. Well, then I guess I have more things to react to. Every week. People ask, did you ask Erica's permission to film her in this episode? She is not filmed in this episode at all. However, if she was, I would have asked for her permission. However, I still did send this episode to her to get her approval on everything in it. And, uh, yeah, that also applies to everybody else in the episode. So if you're one of my friends, if you know me, don't be afraid that I'm going to, like, put stuff out there. Didn't you put stuff out there when you told everybody about you and Alyssa's breakup? I mean, that kind of seemed like it was supposed to be a private thing, you know, a private horrible moment of your life. But, you know, you kind of just shared it with the whole entire world and even made a diss track on her, which got 200 million views. So... I'm really having a hard time believing that you actually give a shit about your friends and their privacy. But honestly guys, I'm feeling very very tired right now. And I think I'm just gonna cut the video right here. It's basically 10 minutes long, it's long enough. And really the rest of this is just Jake Paul saying that he's doing it for himself when really... He's just doing it for the views. Because when you really think about it, like, if you want to change as a person, you know, you just do it on your own time. These types of things don't happen by putting on the camera, being right behind the camera, filming yourself, trying to be this, you know, new douchey piece of shit that both your fans and your enemies don't like because we could all see right through you, all right? If you really want to change, then change. You don't make these, you know, series and shit like that and try to exploit your own life just to make it seem like you know, you actually give a shit about people when you, when you yourself don't even want to change. But hey, this is most likely just part one. And if you actually want a part two of this series, then please like and subscribe. And help this channel a lot by watching all my other videos. This has been CNGC YouTube and I'll see you for the next time.